Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3 video. In this one, I'm trying Sense Row Reboot or Sense Row 2022. Uh, so, this game is the Epic Stores version, and I don't know if the crack version will work or not, but you can do try and let me know in the comment section. So, right now, I have not activated the mod and I am playing on. 1080p uh, FSR 2 is on quality this game don't have DLSS so only FSR and it is compatible with like both series cards and video AMD so there is no need to worry about uh, also I'm on ultra quality graphics preset is on ultra uh, here as you can see uh, the ultra preset have uh, set everything on like high ultra a mixture of high ultra but the preset is on ultra uh, so without the mod i'm getting around 70 to 80 fps depending on the scenario of the game so yeah let's begin the mod i will also show you how to fix the crashing issue of the epic store uh, so i will also show you the how to uh, fix the crash issue of epic store uh, first let me tell you that uh, msi afterburner is not compatible with this game or mod so do not use the MSI afterburner and don't tell me that your game is crashing. First download this zip from the link in the description. Extract it to desktop. Copy everything inside. Go to your installation folder of Sense Row. And where the TX12, DX11 and Vulkan.exe, every exe is located paste everything here after pasting we're gonna need to fix the epic store crashing issue so if you are an old user you do know how to uh, fix the issue or you have a crack version uh, you can skip this step but if you are on epic store and you don't know how to fix that uh, stick with the video so you will first need to copy this path from the description uh, if you have installed the epic store in the c drive uh, you will be able to do this by this tutorial so open um, this PC, go to the address bar of your uh, PC, delete it, then right click, paste and hit enter. You will directly launch into the epic overlay folder or you can go by one by one like where the uh, epic is located by like this uh, epic games, launcher, portal, extras, overlay so once you have located your folder uh, you want to rename these two files and remove the .exe from the end of the files so select it uh, press f2 to rename then uh, click at the end of the video delete it delete the dot also click outside click yes also select the second file f2 end delete delete the dot click outside click yes after doing this you can just launch the game simply but do not launch it from the games folder if you are on epic you have to launch the game through the epic or the game won't launch it will say some errors so i'm on epic and now i'll launch the game now i'll speed up the video a little Okay, one thing I forgot to tell that you have to uh, launch the DirectX 12 mode. Uh, 11, DirectX 11 or Vulkan will not work. Only use DirectX 12. Who's ready for some crime? Then you know I wish something after this. Okay, I'm back in the game. Yes. And uh, already you can see the FPS boost is working like we were getting 70 to 80 fps now it's 120 to 130 but there is a little flicker on the screen um, but it's not anything game breaking you can still aim and shoot i have seen worse in some other games like this see you can still uh, shoot and do everything yeah but little flicker is little annoying i know uh, if any update comes uh, i will update the game update the video 
so yeah this will be it guys uh, also i want to show you like uh, it is on fsr uh, it is on fsr like you can use any quality of the fsr to use with this mod there is no dlss in the game support so you will have to use fsr there is no need to edit any config file or anything you just have to do this uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can uh, if you really have very high fps uh, with this mod you can do is disable the fsr and play the game you will still have a little bit higher fps i think uh, okay no that is not the case fsr 2 is not activating at all so if you disable it i think uh, i'll need to disable the anti-aliasing wait a second if i disable the anti-aliasing not much difference okay so you will have to live with the jagged edges uh, flickering i guess so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you